fire geographers, welcome to our next topic, which is actually part of the rural unit. So there's two parts of the rural unit we've done before, the rural land degradation, and this is the other part, rural land use conflicts. Now what the SQE says you need to know for this one is, rural land use conflicts and their management related to either a glaciated upland or coastal landscape. For 2020-2021, coast has actually been removed from the higher topic, so this year it is mainly going to be based on glaciated landscapes for most schools, although I think you can still do uh, coastal landscapes if you have already done it, or if indeed you live closer and that is more relevant to you. So this is a very straightforward topic in terms of what you need to do and what you need to know. It's actually quite short as well, it's one of the shortest ones we do. So, you need to know a case study. For me, my school, we teach the Cairngorms National Park. Understanding what the Cairngorms is and what a national park is and what its responsibilities are. Then you'll need to look at what the typical land uses are within that case study. So for me, that's looking at the typical land uses within the Cairngorms and the different things it's used for. And specifically, why those land uses are there. That's really good to understand those as well. Then, splitting that down into different land users, looking at the conflicts that happens between these land users and why they occur in the first place. Then afterwards, taking those conflicts and looking at management strategies that help limit or reduce those conflicts. And we used to use the word solution, but I don't really like it because it never particularly solved the problem. Management strategies is a lot better because it's how you manage those strategies and manage it to make everyone as happy as possible. You also need to look at how effective these strategies are. Are they amazing? Are they expensive? Are they cheap? Do they work really well? Or do people just ignore them and not pay attention? And that's it, there's only really a possible couple of questions for this. You need to know the causes, the management strategies and the effectiveness all within your case study to really get ace this topic. So good luck with it and speak to you later.